Hey guys, so I'm very excited to be starting a new mini series here, um, showcasing an updated look, kind of a what's in my bag, what's in my purse video, um, but I'm thinking of it more as purse organization, as well as instead of just one bag, I'm showing you the three different sizes of bags that I typically carry for any given day or occasion and how I organize them depending on size. Now each bag has if you guys are familiar with my older videos, you might know or be familiar with my walking pharmacy, which is basically just like a little kit of stuff that I like to have in my purse, have with me at any given moment with things that I might need on a daily basis or maybe just an emergency, like have to have it once in a while sort of situation. But um, I'm going to film a separate video for that. Um, I'm not sure if that'll be one or three videos yet, but this is actually going to be three separate videos. So in the first video here, I'm going to be talking about my largest bag, my tote bag size, and how I organize that and what contents I keep in it. And then check back next for a look at how I organize and what I keep in a medium size, like a cross body kind of bag. And then lastly will be um, what I keep and what I organize, how I organize like an evening clutch or a small, small bag. So I'm going to put these out of the way because we're going to focus on the tote style today. So this is actually a Louis Vuitton bag from last year, but oh, let me put my phone in it so it's really uh, accurate. I'm going to kind of give you a look at the inside. So this being an open style tote, it's um, it can really quickly turn into like a jumbled mess in this kind of bag. And that's why I like to organize using um, pouches. As you can see, I have lots of different pouches going on here. I'm going to show you each one. But that also not only does it make the bag more structured and keep it structured, because bags like this that are like a looser, this is a canvas bag, can lose shape and get kind of like weird looking on your arm, if that makes sense. So I like having the base of the bag, the interior, packed with cases that not only maintain its shape, but keep everything organized, and I know what's in each case. So, first of course, I have my wallet, and this is another Louis Vuitton product, which I've talked about on my other channel, My Housewife Life. I like this wallet for this bag in particular because it can store my phone. You see my phone fits right in there, which is especially nice because this bag has no slip pockets. It only has a, um, let me flip it over for you, a zip pocket on this side. Um, so you, normally I would keep my phone in the, a slip pocket, but some bags don't have any organizational components or at least not slip pockets worked into them like this bag. So that's why I like this using this wall when I use this bag because it keeps my phone in a place where it's easy access and it's also, I know exactly where it is. So that's what's in there. Then... Um, I have my keys, of course. These are like two must-haves in your bag. And those, <laughs> I've got a lot going on on my keychain right now. But those are clipped onto um, a key fob that's included in, in the bag. And then come the actual elements. So I have three, yes, three zipper cases. I have my walking pharmacy, and this is the biggest version of this that I have and carry because most of my bags that are tote style like this are large and can accommodate a bigger thing. It's not necessarily very heavy, it's just very large. So um, this, this and all the little Prada cases you'll see that I pull out were gifts to me. There was only one that I bought. I bought this one, next one I'm going to pull out on a trip to um, Vegas to complete my set, but these were gifts because um, I know people are going to ask. So I'm going to be filming a separate video featuring this bag, so check back for an updated walking pharmacy bag video, if you're interested. And I'll just give you a quick look, because it's, you know, kind of interesting, I suppose. This, this has all my everyday, like I said, the things that I use on a daily basis, and also some things that are more emergency, kind of less frequently used, but things that I want to have on hand, like band-aids and shout wipes and a flashlight and tweezers. I mean, they're things that you probably don't need all the time, but I'm the kind of person that I just feel better having this with me and I don't mind carrying it around. I'd much rather carry this around than not have it. So to each their own, that's how it goes. Then I have my cosmetic case and this is the little pouch that I bought for myself in Utah, in, Utah, in Vegas, but um, all the other ones 
Orgus, and this has a mini makeup complete face kit in it and I'm actually going to film a separate video on this too so that'll all be part of the series but like I said having the two bags for separately keeps things separated so I know if I need to pull this out or if I need to pull this out depending on what my needs are I don't have to pull one thing out and try to like jam a lot of things in one bag um, and I like I like having them separately because sometimes I won't throw this in my bag sometimes I'll pull this out um, especially if I'm using one of my smaller size totes. This I don't use quite as often as I use this. So that's another nice thing about having bags is they're interchangeable and you can take things out and put things in depending on your needs for that day. But you don't have to take individual items out if that makes sense. Like 10 mini bottles of things. You don't have to like pull those out of your purse because they're all in one place. Um, and I do, whenever I switch bags, I just take the um, my little organizational elements out of the bag and into the new one and it takes like literally 30 seconds to switch bags because everything's already nicely organized. The last little pouch I have is actually an, um, a lanchon. It's like a mini lanchon. Um, I think it's just so cute. And this is just a little zipper pouch that I keep lip products in. This is the only bag where I keep my lip products in their own little case because most of my tote bags they don't have like ample room for um, like side pockets and stuff and so I like to have a few like standard lip products on hand with me at any given moment and I just like having them in this little case um, these are really I like having them separate than this because like I said sometimes I don't carry this around so I just have some, like a regular um, sort of like a lip cream and then a um, lip gloss from MAC that's a standard favorite of mine Social Light is the number I mean the name and then I have one of the Revlon um, what are these? Color Burst Lip Butters in Pink Truffle, which is my favorite, kind of like all-around shade. And then I have two lip, uh, like chapsticky things from um, Sugar, which are nice, um, kind of like a little tint, but a nice all-around chapstick. So that's this is something I usually have in whatever large tote I'm carrying at the moment. Um, and then whatever lipstick I'm wearing for the day, I'll usually pop in there as well. I don't have it in here right now because I have it in the little bag, my little clutch that I showed you that I'm going to film another video on. You guys will see that soon. But that would normally go in there too. So that's the bulk of the bag. You can see that's the bulk of the items I carry in here. Now I do have a certain things I keep in the side pocket because most, if not all of my bags, will have a zip pocket at least. If not, then I'll take those things out and put them in my walk-in pharmacy. And then there's a couple of things that kind of float on by themselves, but that's because, I mean, it's really only a few things. So first of all, Oop, that has my address on it, but I have um, some gift cards to Starbucks because I'm like a frequent member, so they send you a free one every time you go for 15 drinks or something from Starbucks. And then I have this little clear pouch. This was featured in my last What's in My Purse video too, because it's the same one um, from the container store in their travel section. They sell these. And this is what I keep my current coupons in. So I keep um, store-related coupons on one side, and then... Um, I mean like department stores and like accessories stores, the clothing stores, things like that, and then food and um, like Target kinds of coupons on this side. So I have that in its own thing and that usually I put up right at the side of my bag so I can know it's easy access. And I have this separate little case for cards. Now I did show this in my last um, what's in my bag video as well, but this is by, I think it's by Milani. Yeah, Milano actually, and it's from the Container Store. I don't believe they have this color anymore, but they still sell this style case. And as you can see, it's jam-packed with cards. Now this is everything from store cards, it's like rewards cards, to particular store credit cards, like I have a J. Crew credit card, I have a Bloomingdale's credit card, those sorts of things that I get points on so I have a separate card for them, but I don't want to carry them in my wallet all the time because then my wallet would be like so bulky. And then those are all in the front, the rewards and the credit cards are on the front, and then rewards cards, and then in the back I have gift cards. And this is something that I usually just leave in this bag, and if I'm going around with a smaller bag that day, like my medium sized bag, I might just grab whatever I need out of this, but it's just so my wallet doesn't get so big and so stuffed and heavy because um, I want my wallets to last a long time and if you overstuff them just as with anything like bags or wallets or cases, they will wear out a lot faster than if you stuff them just to the point where, you know, 
they're still safe and happy. So there's that. And then I just have a few more things. I have this little reusable shopper bag. Again, something I've carried around for years. Um, this was actually a stocking present from my mother-in-law several Christmases ago. But I like this because you could see it was zipped into itself. It turns into a really nice size shopper. It's very bright and colorful, so it's distinguishable. I've used this on countless, I take this on trips with me too. I've used this for countless like trip vacation situations where I've needed a bag last minute for traveling purposes. Um, it's got a nice shoulder length wrap and um, the little zipper compartment that held it all together turns into like a little mini um, zip pocket when you unfold the bag and it has a little mini key fob in it too. So that's real convenient to have. It weighs basically nothing um, and it has come in handy multiple, 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 multiple times. Um, sometimes I just don't have enough, I didn't bring enough bags in with me at the grocery store. Like I have a lot of reusable bags that I keep in a tote box kind of thing in my car. If you watched my car organization video, you know what I'm talking about. And I usually just bring in however many I think, just like judging it by my list, but sometimes you need an extra one. So I always have one and I don't have to use like a brown bag or a plastic bag. Um, this is also great for stores where I, you know, you don't necessarily think to bring in a bag, like a clothing store or something. If you don't want a shopping bag, then you could just use this. And this is by um, Kiva, I think is how you pronounce it. If I can find where you purchased this, of course, I will link this as well as everything in the more info bar below. Then I have a couple snacks. I don't go far without snacks. Right now I have a little bag of peanuts and I usually have a Luna bar with me. I leave these things floating in the bag because, like I said, there's not a lot of stuff floating around in there. So the things that are floating around are easily distinguishable and easily reachable. And I have this little, it's called Hookies. You can see that there and this is great and this is only for tote bags or at least for me I just keep it in my bigger bags when I go to the grocery store you know sometimes it can be tiring to carry around a purse a lot of the times I'll just run into the store with my, my this wallet with my phone and my little key in it for my car but sometimes I have my whole bag and I don't really like to have my bag on my arm that long not that it's like so, so heavy, but at the grocery store I'm reaching for things and it just kind of is in the way. So I actually found this at, I think it was the container store at Christmas time. It was one of their stocking stuffers. And it's designed to like hold your reusable shopping bags. You just kind of um, put them down into here and then you clip this onto the cart. Um, it's, supposed to, it's designed to like fit right over most grocery carts or buggies as they call them in the south. Um, but I just use it actually for my handbag. Um, I'm the kind of person who doesn't leave my cart just sitting somewhere and then like go walk down an aisle usually. And if I did, I would obviously pick my bag off my cart and take it with me. But this is great because it keeps your bag secure. It's not, it's like actually kind of hard to get the bag in and out, which I liked and when I bought it. So your bag can't just be like thrust off of there quickly. Um, and it's, it like hooks on securely onto the cart. So I really, I really like this little thing. I don't know if the container store sells it still, but if I can find it on their website, I'll link it below. And one last thing in the bottom of the bag is this little tin. This is actually filled with little mints. I bought a few of these and I'm not gonna lie, I threw out the little candies because they were awful. They were like sour, some, they just weren't for me. But I really like the little tins and I thought they were cute and festive and easy to find in any bag that I have because most bags I have have like a solid color interior that's either like red or blue or beige or brown. So this kind of stands out and wouldn't, you know, kind of camouflage in a bag. And this is what I keep little treats for Winnie in. So I have a couple different of her favorite dog treats in there. And I am for my Winnie the Zoo tube lovers out there, I am going to be filming a dog treats and dog food video for her next, so stay tuned for that if you're interested. But I have one of these in my other bag as well, which you'll see next time when I show you my medium size bag. So that's everything. I mean, this is like a really big roomy bag. And like I said, I have the three cases. So the big walk-in pharmacy, the medium sized makeup, and the tiny little lip product one because I'm a lip product junkie. I have the case for my cards. I have the um, pouch for my coupons. I have my reusable shopper, my snacks, my little clip, and my little dog treat tip. 
And that is all that I carry with me in a bag. Anything additional like my journal or my Kindle or stuff, that stuff gets thrown in on a need only basis. This, I like to keep my bag with the bare essentials in it and then I just add or subtract things as needed. Now there are a few things that I keep in the zip pocket, which like I said, if I do have a couple bags that don't have a zip pocket, in which case I would just put them in the walking pharmacy, but they're kind of more items I use more frequently that I want to just be able to reach quickly into my bag to get, so that's why I prefer to keep them in this side pocket. I have this little Vera, I actually just got this little case for this, this little Vera Bradley case with my um, headphones in it. I always carry headphones in case, you know, I'm like waiting somewhere and I want to listen to music on my phone or watch a, like a YouTube video on my phone or something. I have these with me and I don't know where I got these headphones. They're purple, probably at Best Buy. Um, but I really like this little case, I, I, like I said, I just got it because it keeps them nice and secure, you know, um, safe, but it also keeps them from getting tangled and stuck in things, and it's very lightweight. Then I have my little key fob full of um, store rewards points cards. Now I know I showed this in my last video because this is one of my smarter things, I think. And I've been doing this for many, many, many years now, since college. Uh, I keep all of my little um, cards like this that come on a keyring size thing on a separate keyring and separately in my bag than trying to put a million things on my keychain. I have a couple things on here. I have a Starbucks gift card just in case of emergency. I also have a Starbucks gift card in my wallet as well as other places as well and a um, like a mini health card in my keychain just in, this is like in case of emergency things. This is another thing that usually just lives in my bigger bag. I don't get too bummed out if I don't have these things with me in my smaller, my more medium sized bag. And I do kind of alternate. I mostly carry around big size bag, but lately I've been carrying around the crossbody kinds of bag. Mostly I found in the cooler months when I'm wearing more layers, I just find the crossbody kind of annoying when I'm just wearing a t-shirt or a tank. Um, but a lot of my more medium sized crossbody bags can be used as a shoulder bag as well. So I'm still carrying them in the summer, but um, to be honest, when I'm going somewhere with, that, with the smaller bag, I don't bring this with me usually. I just leave it in my big bag, like I said. Um, and most places can look up your place by phone number, but when I do have this bag with me, it's just really easy to access all the little cards. I keep them organized by size. Um, not by like alphabetized or anything because it's a continuous loop. I don't think alphabetization, why was that hard to say, would really make like a huge difference. Um, but by size, then I can kind of see that I know which color basically goes with each store and then it's easy to kind of like poke through. So that's something I keep in the side pocket as well as standard things like gum and mints. Right now I have some minties, um, mints and these cool honey Altoids, which are deliciously yummy. I usually don't carry such a big tin of things. I'm not a big like mint person, but I really like these honey Altoids. So they've been in my purse. And then I have gum. Right now I'm really loving the Trident layers. Gum, I like all of them. And I'm not like a huge gum fan and certainly not a huge like sweet gum fan. I usually just like mint gum if I'm gonna have it, but I really like these. They're so interesting. And then I have a couple of these little Oh, these are these from Genesis Today little like energy chews um, that I was uh, introduced through Eco Emmy, which is a subscriptions like sample service that I get. And then I have house keys. These I do switch bags. This this is like the this in my wallet or the contents of my wallet are generally what I switch bags um, because we do have like a keypad to get into our garage, but you never know when the power's gonna go out or something's gonna happen and you can't open your garage always have keys on hand. And then I just have another chapstick that I must have thrown in here. And this is from the Disney Disney World. It's a um, Winnie the Pooh chapstick, which technically should go in my lip case, but I guess it's just in the edge there. And that's everything I, that I keep and store in my large size tote bag. Now I do change out my purses frequently. So I like, I keep talking about, you know, different bags. Um, this system, this kind of organizing of my purse just makes it so easy to do that. I tend to change my bags once a month um, and this is so easy. Like I said, it takes like so little time. So because everything has a place and a spot, I'll just show you how quickly everything goes back in. So there, that was all the side pocket things. 
So those are all in. Oh, I just knocked my purses off the table. You'll have to excuse me. My walking pharmacy goes in. My makeup bag in. Then I have my little case of cards and my reusable shopper, my lip little case, my um, little loose items, Winnie's tin of treats and the hanging thing for my bag, my snacks, tuck those in, and my little coupon pouch and my, oops, I didn't put these mints, uh, coupons for Starbucks. And lastly, I'm going to hook my keys into the little provided key hook, Bob, and I usually just rest my wallet on top and voila everything's in and nicely organized and it's so easy to access everything here if i take my wallet out you can see better everything in there just flip it around give me another view so you can see there's no like wrappers there's no garbage there's no receipts just floating around in my bag and that's because Every time I'm out with a purse and I come home, I take out any receipts or garbage that might have accumulated in there. I usually throw things out right away if I'm out and I like to keep the receipts in the bags with my purchases. That's just the way that I find works best for me to keep track of them. I know a lot of people like to keep them in their purse, in which case I would recommend having like another little pouch, maybe like this one for receipts. That would be great if you're the kind of person who needs to have your receipts on your person like in your bag instead of trying to stuff a lot of receipts in your wallets which again will contribute to your wallet not lasting as long if you stuff it full of things um, more than it can handle and that is everything if you're interested to see how I organize my medium and small size handbags stay tuned as well as my walking farm well, an updated look at what's in my walking pharmacies i hope you guys enjoy this video and i'd love to know what you keep in your purse and how you organize it if you feel like sharing thanks for watching you guys and take care bye